Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if this is your first time here. So I wanted to jump on here and give you a quick first impression video of one of the new Jaclyn Hill blush and bronzer duos. So I just received this in the mail um, today. I ordered this from Ulta like when it launched. So I live on the East Coast and it launched at like one in the morning my time and I didn't stay up for that but I did end up waking up at like five in the morning. I think my husband was getting up for something. Oh yeah, he had work this weekend. So I ended up jumping online right away and seeing what that they had left and what would be the best color for me. And the only one that was really in stock that I really wanted was the Warm Flush and Golden Goddess Duo. So... You can see it right there and I haven't swatched this I haven't done anything with it yet so I'm really excited to share this with you guys and let's see because I was looking online and I really couldn't find any videos on this color I mean I guess I saw the whole swatches but nobody used this and see if it would you know work for my skin tone so I'm like a light medium skin tone with some yellow or golden undertones that's normally where I land in the spectrum of foundations so I am excited to get this you know on my face and see what I think of it so I think this was $36 at Ulta. I am an Ulta Rewards member and stuff, so I had a bunch of points saved up, so I got a bunch of other stuff as well, but this was the purchase, the, the item that made me purchase um, things when I did. So let's jump into it and see what we think. So first I'm gonna swatch these, and I'm swatching the bronzer. It does feel really soft and, um, just like a super soft, finely milled powder. That's what it feels like in there. So that's a bronzer. That looks pretty good. And now the blush, and the bronzer was in the color Golden Goddess and Warm Flush is what the blush is. And there is Warm Flush. So that looks like it's gonna be a good match for me. I'm really excited. Okay, so let's jump into this and start applying. I look so white right now, but I guess I do that when I don't have any makeup on. So yes, it's a little powdery. I don't think it's anything extreme. A lot of products are powdery and I don't, that doesn't throw me off at all. So it does look like it's a pretty natural shade for my skin tone. And I'm definitely the lightest I'm gonna be all year right now. And it seems to be applying well. In the summertime, I might wanna get pick up a deeper color if I like this a lot, but it seems to be applying really well and blending out pretty nicely. So, continue with this. I wear my bronzer a little bit high. I guess bronzer, you do wear a little bit high and blush maybe a little bit higher than that or inward. Anyway, I wear my, I normally wear my bronzer and then I like put my blush over it and maybe I pull my bronzer down just a little bit more, but it's where the sun hits you, right? I have big cheekbones, so the sun is gonna hit me right there. I am looking really glowy right now. I did not set my foundation and I probably should. I've used the new Milk Sunset Skin Tint Foundation and that is like so, shimmery so i think i'm gonna do that really quick because it's throwing me off i always look pretty um glowy with these lights especially um but i'm looking extra glowy today so that is that and plus i want to put a little bit on my chin so let me do this it's gonna get a little bit of my powder put it over there. I put some already under my eyes, but touch up a little bit there and I put some over my nose, but this foundation is like so, just so hydrating. And it just definitely is glowy, but that's a, you know, it's a skin tint, so who would have thought it wouldn't be? Um, okay, let's, so I think that that um, looks really good. I do think it's like 
really kind of like a redder base. It's definitely not cooler. It's very much a warm tone bronzer, which looks good on my skin. So I don't mind that at all. I think this is a good set together. It looks like this blush and bronzer combo for, uh, I think it said light to medium uh, skin tones. That's what the recommend re recommendation was. So let's jump right into the blush. So I have this one here, Warm Flush is the color. I'm using like a dual fiber stipple brush just because that's what I always seem to use for my blush. So I'm gonna start right here. Hmm. So it's definitely layerable, the blushes. I'd say feels like a little bit less pigmented than the bronzer, but maybe that's just because I'm putting it over bronzer, yo, wow, okay, take it back. Maybe it was just like an overspray on the product <laughs> because now it's coming at ya. Yeah, now I look very blushy. It's blending out nicely though. I would not say that, um, it's, it's pigmented, but I wouldn't say it's not pigmented enough. Like I was thinking when I first put it on that it would, needed to be layered a lot, but now that I've seen it after I've used it a little bit, I think it might've just been kind of like an overspray maybe to keep the product down because now it is on. And this is what it looks like. I think that looks really pretty. So this is a first impressions. Like I said, I just got the product. So I'm gonna give it just a little bit and maybe tonight I'll try to snap a picture or two and let you know how it wore throughout the day. And I'll definitely put it in the description box below. But so far, so good. I think this is really pretty. And I'm excited about like doing some comparison videos and seeing how this, this definitely wears and lasts. So that's it. Those are my first impressions and try on of the new Jaclyn Hill Warm Flush and Golden Goddess combo. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you again really soon. All right, bye.